I've just finished the round of all the toy fairs. There was actually a gift fair in London, then the London Toy Fair, the Nuremberg Toy Fair, the biggest in the world, and then the New York, which is, I think is the best. The New York Toy Fair produced this wonderful balloon, which is appearing, a mega balloon. And if I hold it roughly in the middle, you can see just how long it is, about nine foot long, I think it is. I haven't yet tried it with helium in it. It'd be fantastic, but outdoors it flies beautifully. Wow, what a piece. The other items I picked up are here on the table. And they include this very high-tech robo-type robot thing. You have to, first of all, calibrate it by putting it on the card. Then you put it on this funny little series of maze-type passages. But there's colours there which mean something. It shows what the colour is, or some parts of it make it speed up and slow down. Very clever little bit of robotics, which they showed, first of all, at last year's New York Toy Fair. And then they suddenly picked up and produced samples for people to be able to buy on the last day. So a lovely little piece this, and I still haven't found from the website all the games you can play with it. But very, very neat, very compact, a real beauty. I love also going the other extreme, very, very inexpensive, but lovely postcards so you can send to people. But these are lenticular ones, and these particularly good working. I think this is a wonderful one of a flower and full bloom going from small bud up to the full flower, all in a few seconds. Marvellous effect. And the other ones, which I also picked up in MoMA, were Maya Bridge's work in the 1900s or 1890s showing movement. He was one of the pioneers of cinematography, Maya Bridge. And some of these, which I shall I think, pass on to one of my friends who collects this, I think are, again, they're just postcards, just postcards of Henry's with posts, but they, they work so well. And I'm very happy to have those to pass on to people. I was delighted to find some very nice Rubik Cube type puzzles, actually made by a guy in Grease, the V-cubes he calls them, and I think these are superb because they not, not only work extremely well, but also they've got something more interesting than just colours. This is a whole series of Van Gogh pictures. There's himself and the irises, famous pictures of his, Starry, Starry Nights, the famous song, and they work beautifully. If you turn it like this, you'll get it nicely muddled, and then you've got to unmuddle it again, which is superb. And they also make another version of the thing, which is a two by two cube, but threes as well, which is a pillow cube. It's nice and sort of, um, it, it, it's better for the hands for working on. These are scenes from Chicago, the city of Chicago, and they're already getting a bit muddled up. But the idea is to move them back so that they appear as single pictures. So that was a very nice find. I've got friends, magician friends, who love playing cards, and this is a superb set of gold ones. Look at the quality of the pictures themselves. Aren't they superb? And the cards themselves are very finely made. They slip through the hands very quickly, very easily. You'll make a series of beautiful card tricks, I think, with something like this. But I've got some, a number of friends who particularly collect good cards that can be done making magical effects, and that's going to be a, a, a real winner. Here's an extraordinary little motorbike which whips along, but he's got a wonderful action because when you speed it up and do an action like that, he'll go almost like a wheelie. Isn't that extraordinary? He does a movement like that, but he also does a wheelie, which I think is superb. <laughs> very, very small. Have you ever come across metal soap? I did come across this a few years ago, but I've only have now got a bar of it. It's not really a soap, but it's a deodorizer. If you've been cooking and, and cooking with onions or garlic, the smell can be quite nasty on the hands. But if, surprisingly, if you wash your hands under water and rub your hands on this, it takes, it, it takes away all the smell of the garlic or the, of, the, of the onion smell from your hands. Very interesting. Nice bit of science behind it as well, and something I must try. Couldn't resist these from F.A.O. Schwartz. Ghastly sweets. Well, I love sweets, but um, bacon flavoured mints, I'm not sure about that. I must try it anyway. And some extraordinary jelly beans too, with names like out of Harry Potter. Lemon lawn clippings and uh, skunk spray, stinky socks, the lot. So of course, they're all very nice, palatable jelly beans, but a bit of fun there having that. My favourite one, I think, by a long way, was this extraordinary disc here, which is a V-disc. It looks like nothing on earth. It's just got a, a little dimple at the bottom. It's got a black top. You spin it slowly, nothing happens. But when you illuminate it with a single spotlight from a, a little LED, wonderful magic occurs because the galloping horse appears in three dimensions, goes through the full cycle in 360 degrees turn of the disc. It's a bit fast now. That's, as it slows down, it'll behave better. 
That is quite astonishing. So it's a hologram of three dimensions with movement to it, a virtual horse. Isn't that amazing? That's my favourite find, I think, from the Toy Fair. So it's been a very good fair for me, but quite a bit more still to come when I follow up some of the leads that I've had and several other toys I'm going to wait for. Some of them not ready till October, but got to be patient, I guess. Good fair, 2015 vintage year.